Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22000.593 or the update KB5011563. This is the C release for the month of March. And this build, of course, as you're used to, it's a non-security build, which brings on a few improvements and also a lot of fixes to the operating system. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also the fixes that were applied in this build. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. And before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Light PDF. Light PDF is the best free online PDF editor and converter which provides free PDF tools to solve all PDF problems with one click. You can download the PDF editor from their official website link below in the description. Easily open a PDF file and edit text and add images with just a few clicks. You can even add signatures and convert the file to different formats. After you are done editing, you can save the PDF file into your computer. Download Light PDF from the official website today to try it out for yourself. Let's continue with the video. In this build, Microsoft is bringing changes to notifications as it was in the previous build for the better channel. So now Windows will display up to three high priority toast notifications simultaneously. This feature is for apps that send notifications for calls, reminders, or alarms using notifications in the OS. As a result, up to four toast notifications might appear simultaneously, three high priority notifications and one normal priority notification. This build also updates an issue that might cause Microsoft OneDrive file to lose focus after you rename it and press the enter key. When a file loses focus, you have to select it again before you can use it. Regarding settings, now when you type in here widgets, Windows will return the corresponding settings page and will highlight the widgets icon if you want to turn it on or off. Also, this build addresses an issue that increases the startup time for Windows. This issue occurs because a UI thread in the networking API stops responding when a 5G wireless wide area network device is slow to wake up. Of course, builds like these fix a lot of memory leaks. The interesting thing is that Microsoft is still fixing memory leaks, but it's a good thing that they are working on them. Also, regarding the user account control, Microsoft addressed an issue that prevented the user account control dialog from correctly showing the application that is requesting elevated privileges. And also Microsoft addressed an issue that causes system settings.exe to stop working and also search indexer.exe to stop working. And this is good because we sometimes got the search not responding or not working and this should uh, pretty much fix the issue. Basically, this is all there is to it in this build. Not a very big build or not many new features in this one, but as a C release, I think it is okay because we have a lot of fixes that were applied in this build and of course in the article down below in the description we're going to have the full list of fixes if you want to see each and every fix that was applied in this build if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day